Hi everyone, welcome to the channel The Gamer and today I am going to do a small review of the Xbox Series S. Here you can see this is Xbox Series S, power your dreams. It has Xbox City architecture and you can play thousands of digital games across it. Next gen gaming console and this you have a game pass. Along with this you have a, 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 num a different number of features like gaming up to 120 fps, xbox velocity architecture, 512 gb solid state drive, variable refresh rate, high dynamic range and disc free gaming. This comes with a disc free gaming and this does not need any disc to play. You have to download all the games inside from this from the microsoft store. So this is the Xbox Series S and it is a home video game console developed by Microsoft. You can place it like this or you can place it like this, horizontal or vertical. You can see here it's rubber pads are given, you can place it like that and these were released on November, this was released on November 10th 2020 as the fourth generation of the Xbox console family succeeding the Xbox one. So we see here that um, PlayStation 5 was also released in November 2020 uh, but the Xbox Series S is part of the ninth generation of the video game consoles. Series S comes at a price of 30,000 rupees and in USA it comes around uh, 300 dollars. So here I will show you what all I uh, present. One is the Ethernet and the Internet cable uh, slot and the other is the USB cable slot and the another one is also USB cable slot. There are two USB cable slots, one for HDMI out and this is the storage expansion. Storage expansion uh, is something where you have there, there will be a storage expansion card which will be available. So you have to place that card inside this in order to increase the size of the memory of the uh, Xbox. Uh, usually storage expansion cards they come uh, around very costly. They come at a price of 20,000 starting price and they come uh, they come in small size and uh, they range from 20,000 rupees to 80,000 rupees or up to 1 lakh. So it is difficult to afford that. So because of which we use, we also use a uh, external hard disk drive, uh, which we can uh, connect it to this USB cable in here and here, and then we can use it. So uh, my suggestion would be that to use an external hard disk drive so that um, if we want, we can edit uh, things in it or we can remove it, uh, something like that. But Mm, storage expansion we cannot do anything like that once it's inserted we cannot take it out also this is the power cord cable slot and here are the vents you see these are the air vents and this looks like a speaker but this is not exactly a speaker this is uh, an air vent where the fan is present and the hot air comes out from this area you see you see this area and here is the branding Xbox. Here you have a USB cable slot and here also you have a USB cable slot. This side. Okay, so this is according to your preference. These both are the same USB slots. Wherever you want to connect your external hard disk drive, you can connect either from the back side or from the front side. This is the sync button. I will talk about this a little bit later. And this is the power button to turn up the Xbox. So this is the controller for Xbox Series S and it's quite similar when we compare the Xbox Series S controller and the Xbox Series X controller. Only difference is that it comes in a black color, the Xbox Series S controller and this Xbox Series S controller it comes in a white color. I have just placed a cover like this so it's looking red else uh, it's white, pure white, robot white. Here is the power button, 
here is the d-pad you can see it has uh, it has changed its look and this is these are the analog sticks this is a new button which is called as a share button or the capture button this is a menu button this is also a menu button these are the options um, like a x y b just how we have it in this playstation these are the trigger buttons you can see these are mainly, mainly made in rubber and this is a slot for charging the controller and talking about the sync button which I was about to talk um, this is the sync button when we press this and this is the xbox if we press this and we press this simultaneously then the, the light a uh, light blips here and then after that this controller gets synced with the xbox and it uh, overall if we say it wirelessly connects with the xbox and then we can use it so as you can see uh, in the xbox controller we don't have a built in fixed battery you have the battery uh, like I'll show you you have to put normal batteries inside this or you can put rechargeable batteries but if you use this kind of rechargeable xbox official battery then even after the uh, battery gets weak you can charge it you can charge it through this usb slot and the xbox uh, controller gets charged and it feels very comfortable when we play actually it feels more comfortable when compared with the ps4 controller because um, this this has some unique design that's how and also it uh, has um, built-in uh, motors inside this area for the vibration function you can see the built-in motor areas are here for the vibration function to give you a vibration feel so that you will have a realistic feeling of uh, as if that you are driving or you are fighting uh, whatever according to the game so this is the xbox interface home screen here you can see i have some games Watch Dogs 2 gta 5 Far Cry New Dawn and this section consists of all the games in it these are the apps these are the groups these are my games you can see backward compatibility GTA 4 is there Xbox supports backward compatibility also these are the network stuff 